Ah. Okay. It's 12.58 p.m. on the 7th still. I upload these videos as I go. I uh, stopped at my, my dad's and my grandma's, you know, and chatted with them for a little bit before they went to the fucking apple orchard. <laughs> Who the fuck does that anymore? Goes to an apple orchard. I've never... I can't say I've never heard of it, but that guy's license plate says bad and black. Okay then. And it's a thought process. That's kind of how it's going right now with the videos. Thought process. So, you'll notice I'll, I'll start a topic and then I'll slide off it. I'll fucking run, run it into the wall and forget about it, forget I ever even said anything about it, now I'm going to kind of pop up on my mom and tell her happy Mother's Day, even though that's not till tomorrow, but early than never, right, it's looking like a chimney in this bitch, that last video, or it was a couple videos ago, and I was playing Mudvayne in the background. They copyright claimed it. That's what I thought they were going to do anyway. Not like I'm trying to make money or anything off this, off these videos. I'm like really heavy into them lately because of their complexity. Their instrumentation is just phenomenal. And Chad Gray with them vocals. So fitting for a band like that. People go insane in psych wards and I was gonna say solitary confinement and all these places that just isolate people into this one room with absolutely no human interaction no um, I explained this to, to her before I've, I've explained this whole thing imagine it just imagine you can't you can't imagine being in a fucking room by yourself 24-7 for days, weeks on end. You can't imagine, you can't even fathom it, dude. Unless you've had it happen to you before. Which I have many times had it happen to me. I was, like I said, in and out of psych wards growing up, you know, as a teenager. Anyways, it, it drives you nuts. It'll drive you crazy. You will lose your humanity. Humanity humanity, you will lose that sense of who you are, you just need somebody to talk to, you need some type of interaction with someone else, because we are wired to have that, like our brains are hardwired to have human interaction, human contact, just think about it, if you've gone three, four days even without speaking to a single person, yeah, that silence and the that is peaceful, you know, for a while, and it's like, fuck, what's my mom up to, what's my dad up to, you know, you crave the human inter interaction, so, that's what I was gonna say in my last video, what's messed up about it is she said she knows, she's like, I know, I know, well, if you know, then why aren't you fixing it, you know, why aren't you, uh, trying to make, make it easier for me? She's like, well, you want me to be depressed, be with you and, and be depressed? I'm 
like, no, that's not what I want. I want you to be with me and happy. But if, obviously, she didn't think she could be happy with me, so... She, uh, you know, did what she did. Whatever. Look, when you know you need help, and you don't get it, you can't blame that on nobody else but you. I mean, you have to actually want it. You have to actually want to be a better person, not just for you, but for your children, for your significant other, if you want one. And I think your significant other is obsolete when you do shit like that. You know, you just abandon them. It's cruel. And then the next time you talk to them, after not speaking to them about anything for weeks, despite trying to get that from them, like, hey, what's going on, I know something's up, you just don't tell them, that's not right, that's cruel, that's cold, and the next time you speak to them, it's just to break up with them, and then, like, don't even do it to their face, just through text, like, and then you ask them the question, like, what's, what do you mean, like, we're done done, like, we're not together, you're breaking up with me, and then they don't answer, you gotta show up, it's like, okay, that's a big deal, we've been together for six and a half years, we have two children together, we built this shit from the ground up, you came from South Dakota to be with me, and build this shit from the ground up, and don't, don't get it twisted, she helped with all that too, she was a huge part of that, if not the other side of it. It was me and her, and everything that we have right now, we built it together. She'd probably tell you different, like, I built it. No. I couldn't have done none of this without her. That's why it's so hard for me. I'm not mad at her because she doesn't want to be with me. I'm mad at her because of what she's doing, because of how she's thinking things are are going on in my head, and intentions I have behind what I do is is to be a shitty person and that's not the case at all I'm not doing anything to try to hurt her I just want to control my fucking life my shit anything that was in my name I'm the goddamn boss of it you know period and if I'm being nice enough to let you keep your shit in my storage shed after you just did me that way come on Give me a fucking break. No remorse. No feeling bad about none of it. Just, it's over. Why? I don't know. I don't have a reason. Come on, dude. Really? Well, I've been thinking about it for a while. Right. Why didn't you talk to me about these things that you were having an issue with? If you had a problem that you didn't talk out with me, that's not my fault. I don't understand. You've been thinking about it for a while. Okay. Why didn't you speak up? You're sitting here telling me to speak up. Why didn't you? Practice what you preach. Ooh, that's what's car. Anyways, I've kept you long enough. I'll talk to you later. Just venting. Fuckers. Later.